So there's a scripture in Luke 22:15, and it's actually about the Passover and when Jesus is getting together his, his friends at the table. And he says, you know, before I suffer, because he's about to go to the cross, he says, I have eagerly desired to eat this meal with you. And I, when I think about that, and I think about that Jesus himself, he needed the, the strength of gathering around the breaking of bread, taking the cup and being together. And it actually says he reclines. He's actually comfortable in their presence, even though he's gonna go and do the greatest thing in history out of love for you and I. He still put value on that moment around the table. So the table is a concept that is not a new concept. It's a concept though that is very alive in me. You know, in the end, we all really need to belong. We need to know that we belong somewhere and we want to put that, you know, at Christmas time into a, a song, a vision, a, a picture to say to people, hey, you know, in our, in our churches, in our families, let's not shut the doors and build bigger walls and bigger fortresses. Let's, let's pull all that down. Let's open up the doors. Let's build longer tables so that everyone knows there is a place for you here because that's how Jesus is. Jesus' way is come and sit with me. Let, me. let me hear your story. I love your story. I love everything about you. There's nothing about you that I don't know and there's nothing about you that, that makes me want to turn my face from you. Jesus always went, just scooping people up and saying, there's a place for you here. It's about the being together, the shared story, the breaking bread together. And I think even as the church gets bigger, because it is around the earth, there's an urgency on the earth. And so the church is getting bigger. But the way we keep a, a big church small is to keep putting value on the table. It's so many times now I'm feeling the Holy Spirit saying, hey, there's a lady over there and she's, she's walking through cancer and she feels really scared. I want you to go and talk to her. And I've had to learn to go, put down my purse, say, hey, I just notice you're obviously going through a tough time, but I just want to tell you that I've been where you are and you're going to be fine. You're going to get through to the other side. And that's all I wanted to say and usually She's like, thank you so much for taking the time. And I kind of, I'm being challenged more and more that there's so many people like that who they just need to know they are seen and there's a place at the table for them.